if you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe to our channel. But for today's video, we are gonna switch it up a little bit and we're gonna make two of our favorite desserts. I thought it would be good for the holidays to kind of have something new for you guys um, to make and they are super easy. There's not a ton of ingredients and I always feel like I don't wanna try anything new for the holidays because if I mess it up, then I have nothing to bring. But these are two super easy desserts and they are so delicious, right, Aria? Yeah, are you excited to make them? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you love to bake with mama, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so the first thing we are gonna do is go preheat our oven because we're gonna have to make a yellow cake. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna make is a strawberry shortcake, but if you don't like a traditional strawberry shortcake, don't turn your nose up yet because it is so good, right? Yeah. This is one of my kids' favorite desserts, but I am gonna put all the ingredients that you need in a screenshot right here. So these are the ingredients that you need. You can screenshot that. But the first thing you're gonna do is start making a yellow cake. So that is what we're gonna do right now. And then we'll go into the next couple steps after we get this put in the oven. Can I turn it on? Good job. Turn it all way on. Yeah, you can turn it on. It's going really fast. Good job, Aria. You want to lift it up? Whoa! You know what you're doing, girlfriend. You got to get the sides. Good job. I think you should be a professional baker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you think so too? Good job. It looks yummy. Maybe one more. Maybe one more down? Okay, be gentle. Good job. Wow. <laughs> Is it dripping all over? Give me one second. One second? job. All right, I think that's good. All the way. Good job. What did you just say to me? I'm the baker. You're the baker. <laughs> Are you ready to put it in the pan so we can put it in the oven? Mm. Are you I still want... mixing? I want to try one more. You want to try and eat it? One time. <laughs> oh. <Get me. laughs> All right, let's stick it in the pan to put it in the oven, okay? Can I do it? Yeah, you can do it. Okay. Ready, Freddy? Pick it up. You gotta bring it all the way over here. Whoa. Good job. You're a good baker. All right, can you hand mommy the spatula? Right there, the red spatula right there. Okay. Yep. Out here, let mommy do. Whoops, this didn't get all mixed. That's okay, we'll mix it up now. Okay, then we're gonna stick our yellow cake in the oven and we'll be back to check on that in about a half hour. in the oven and I always go um, on the lower end for the bake time, so it said 28 to 33 minutes and I put it in for 25, I'll check it. If it needs a couple more minutes, then we'll put it in for a couple more minutes, right? Mm -hmm. But the next step is to make vanilla pudding. So I make one of the family sizes and then a smaller size. It ends up to be about five cups of milk and that's about how much you want, um, give or take. The more the better. Um, don't cut yourself short because you do need kind of a lot of vanilla pudding. So we're gonna make the vanilla pudding and then we are going to cut up a whole pack of strawberries. 
Yep, <laughs> right? And um, some tomatoes. Yeah, we're not having tomatoes. That's for dinner, silly goose. Oh, yeah. We're making a cake. We don't want tomatoes in our cake, right? No. Yeah, that'd be gross. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to put a lot of tomatoes, but that's gross. Yeah, that's gross. So, um, that's what we're going to do right now. Okay, the cake is in the oven, the pudding is in the fridge, just waiting for that to set up. I cut all the strawberries, and then when the cake is done, I will show you guys how to put it all together. Okay, the cake is done. We're gonna pull this out of the oven, and we're gonna put this into the fridge because it needs to get cold. After your cake cools, you are gonna cut it into little cubes. So I always cut the outside really thin and I don't really use that and then I will just cut this into cubes cake is cut and ready. I am going to use this bowl for it, but the next step is to take a huge scoop of pudding, I mean of whipped cream, and put it in your pudding and mix that really, really, really good. Um, you can even do like a scoop and a half in this, but I think that's what makes it so delicious. thing you're gonna do is layer the bottom of your pan with the cake and I feel like the longer you leave the cake in the fridge um, the easier it is like it stays together more um, so leave it in I would say for a couple hours and then you can just pull out these chunks or the cubes that you just cut up so you will just do this until you fill the whole bottom. Couple more. So that is pretty much full. You can stuff this as much as you want. So the first layer is the cake. Okay, and then you will do a big layer of your pudding whipped cream mixture. I would say use about half of it right now. And then you'll save half because we're gonna do another layer of this. So put your pudding in and then take your strawberries and just layer strawberries in a thin layer, like so. I sometimes cut these in strips like this. I sometimes cut it in cubes. It kind of just depends on whatever you want to do. So when I am done layering this, I will do another row of, or another layer of um, the cake. Okay, so the strawberries are about done and I still have about half of my strawberries left. And then I will do Another layer of cake.
And then I'll take a little bit of whipped cream for the top and put that on the top like that. And then I layer the rest of the strawberries on the top. Okay, here is the strawberry shortcake. So you can see it's all layered and it's seriously so, so good. Now let me show you the other recipe that I have, which is a, another pudding, but it's chocolate pudding this time. All right, the strawberry shortcake is done and it is seriously so good. Everybody always raves about it every time I make it. It's easy. I just would recommend doing it, um, actually both of these recipes. I would recommend putting it together um, the day of because the cake does get a little bit mushy like the next day. And the pudding that I'm about to make, the Oreos will get a little bit, what are you? <laughs> You're so silly. The Oreos will get a little um, mushy the next day as well. So we're gonna start off by doing um, the same amount of pudding. So five cups of pudding, I did a big size and then a smaller size. So we are gonna do that and I will leave all the ingredients for a screenshot right here for you guys. Okay, so the next thing after you make the pudding and put that in the fridge to set up is take about a row of um, Oreos, like a row and a half of Oreos. And I just do the regular ones instead of like the double stuff, but you can use whatever ones you want. All right, so I did about a row and a half. And then you're gonna chop them up into teeny tiny little pieces. I just use a fork and chop them up. Pudding is done. That just takes a couple minutes to set up because I used the instant pudding. And then to put all this together, you need the chocolate pudding, your cut up or cracked up, chopped up <laughs> Oreos, and then whipped cream. And I use a bowl like this. So I'm gonna put that in front so you guys can kind of see. And I take a scoop, I don't measure this, so I can't really tell you how much. I just take a big scoop and I put it into the um, pudding and then I mix that together. And I feel like it just makes the chocolate pudding a little bit creamy. Once that is all mixed up, then I start layering. And I also use these Heath toffee chunks. Um, as well, it just gives like the pudding a little bit of um, crunch. It's just so good, you have to put them in. But I am gonna show you up close how I layer this. First, do like half the pudding at the bottom. And then just spread that out on the bottom. Then once you have that pretty much flat, then you will take your cookies and do a layer of cookies again about half of your cookies and make sure that is pretty flat then grab your whipped cream another huge scoop of that and you will layer that flat then take your toffee chunk and I just do um, like a sprinkle of them in the middle and then I do some more on top. And then you just repeat this step so you finish the rest of the pudding into the bowl. And then I put the whipped cream 
on the top for this. So I do whipped cream and then I will put the Oreos and toffee on top like this. So there's the Oreos and I just make sure they're all around the sides and then take more of the toffee and sprinkle that on top and there you have it. Okay, so this is what the top looks like and it's kind of just a layered cake. It is so good. Okay, you guys, those are the two recipes that we wanted to share with you guys, the strawberry shortcake and the chocolate pudding. We hope that you guys try them out because they're so good. But now we have to go wake up Paisley and go get Layla from school. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel. We'll be back with more videos. Yes, we will. Bye, Bye guys.